Let's see what we got here. We got a wireless CarPlay and Android Auto thing. Auto box. Auto box. Was it one car stereo yeah. AI box light? Yeah. So we're gonna hook this up, and the reason why we're gonna hook it up is why? Because the advantage is that you don't have to worry about the cable. It has Bluetooth? It goes through Bluetooth. Then it can stream uh, Netflix and YouTube as well. Exactly, exactly. So what happens is that the Ford Maverick here uses, uh, at least the XL and XLT, uses the wired CarPlay and Android Auto instead of wireless. So this here is going to make it wireless. So I'm going to put the link in the description and up here where you can get it if you're interested in one of these. So we're going to test it out, show you how to set it up, and hopefully it'll be nice and easy. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, now I'm going to open it up. Yeah. And so. now we get this paper instructions. We got the instructions. Then we get the re the receiver. Yeah, it's okay. a little snug. It's a little snug, and it comes with... And it comes with the foam. It does come with this, and it comes with this one as well. Look. Was it? Oh, it has an adapter. Yeah, it does. So basically, you have a... This unit right here yeah. is USB A or USB C. This is USB C and that's USB A right here. USB A. So, so what it does is that it powers up through USB C here. Yeah. And the USB A is for a flash drive. So you hook up a flash drive uh, here, USB flash drive, you can go ahead and, and pull music from there. That's the reason why the A is there. So it's a little bit confusing, but it's actually the C that's the power. It has a lot of circuitry, so this is to help keep it cool. These are like vents. And then that also has some lights right there. So I have both A and C. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the C open. If I want, I could actually use this if we wanted to, um, but we'll go ahead and use the A instead because I might be using this last fit. Uh, mount which they I got, have to show about that I got that helps hold the phone later. Yeah, so we got the power USB here and plug that into the C So this has already been synced via Bluetooth to the truck So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. All right, we unpaired it. So now Jesse's gonna go ahead and start the car Can I turn the ignition on to start? Yeah, so he's gonna start it up It's not gonna rev because it's a hybrid Make sure this is down low so I didn't want to make too much noise. Alrighty, so we're waiting for the boot up. We yeah. got it the red and blue, now oh, it's flashing. That's fine. So now, looks like it wants to pair. It's flashing, so let's go ahead and go to the phone. You go to settings. Disabled. Some four audio systems will be replaced. Apple CarPlay can be disabled. So we're going to continue. We're not going to disable it. Agree. Okay. So at this point, you're just going to want to pair it. You see the broadcast called BT18FD right there. Connect that. Once you pair that, it will start to synchronize with the AI box. Hit continue there. That's that's the first time set up. We won't do that again. Once you see the map, you know you're good to go. One thing I noticed is uh, you won't be able to get this working if you're trying to use it for Google. Um, if you hit this, it's going to try to use the AI box light Android, and it's not going to work anymore because it doesn't see your connectivity. All right, so using the Android version, can get the internet working. I can't get Netflix and YouTube working unless I want to use it as a hotspot. So it's a little bit funky. You have to kind of have like a uh, dual setting. However, with the Apple CarPlay, it was easier. Basically, it just would run off of Wi-Fi automatically. Uh, which is how CarPlay works and Android Auto, that it runs off of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's not just uh, Bluetooth, which I didn't ever knew. So that's something that's good to know. So um, that's the difference. So iPhone users will have a lot more ease if they want to stream. If uh, you want to do Android, you got to get the hotspot going. So that's the difference. As far as connectivity for maps and, and calls, receiving text, etc., works pretty clean. And it does take it does take about 30 seconds and sometimes be a little bit longer to work but overall it does work decently and you don't have to have any wires 
So there you go.